This is going to be a position to work on uh, nerve tension into the arms. This could be in the form of carpal tunnel, uh, thoracic outlet syndrome, anything that causes radiating symptoms down the arm into these three fingers is typically going to be appropriate for this type of maneuver. So as I go through it, I can manipulate tension on the nerve by impacting the position of my wrist, the positioning of my shoulder, or the positioning of my neck. And as we go through this position, I wanna try and stay short of putting a lot of pressure on the nerve because they don't tend to like that. So we're gonna hit checkpoints along the way. As soon as you hit one that provokes any kind of symptoms, you wanna to go to the checkpoint just prior to that. So as I lie down on my back, the three things that I'm gonna look at are extending my wrist, right? Gradually taking my shoulder further up overhead and taking my neck away. Any one of those three things is gonna put more tension on this nerve, right? So I'm gonna start off manipulating one at a time. So laying on my back, I'm gonna start with my head tilted towards this side, which will be less pressure on the nerve. And I'm gonna just uh, neutral wrist, straighten my arm and bend. And you're looking to see if this provokes any numbness, tingling, or any of the upper extremity symptoms that you would have. And typically the answer is no. This is not gonna put much pressure on anything, right? So this is a starting point. And if that's okay, I'm gonna then switch to wrist extension. Same pumping of the arm. And then if that's okay, I'm gonna take my head from bent to the, towards the arm side to neutral. And I'll try the same thing. And then if I do 10 of these and it's okay, I'm gonna go head side bent away. And it is a side bend, so I'm not turning my head. I'm trying to keep myself looking up towards the ceiling as I tilt my ear towards my opposite shoulder. So any one of those progressions will gradually increase tension on the nerve. Now, let's say I'm really sensitive at the wrist and it bothers my wrist or it starts to bring on symptoms. Maybe I back off on the wrist extension. I see, all right, well, there's nothing here. What about if I keep my wrist neutral and I take my head away? Okay, that's fine. So then I keep my wrist neutral and I can do it here short of extending my wrist. So to progress that, I'm gradually gonna work my arm into higher degrees of shoulder abduction. So maybe now I come up to 90 degrees and I try the same system. I go head side bent towards, neutral wrist, and I go in and out of this straightening of my arm. I'm looking to see if I provoke any symptoms into my hand. If I don't provoke any symptoms into my hand, I can add wrist extension. Same thing, I'm looking to see if I provoke symptoms. And if I don't, I'm gonna try head neutral. And if I still don't, I'm gonna try head away. Now let's see, like for me, I'm starting to get some tingling into my hands. So maybe before I bring my head back, I'll just see what happens if I give myself more of a neutral wrist. Oh, my symptoms go away. I feel a little bit of a stretch, but I don't feel as much tingling. So this is a good position for me to start doing this maneuver where I'm feeling some tightness, but I'm not putting so much tension that I'm just provoking that symptom into my hand. And then from here, I would progress the same type of activity into external rotation. Once again, playing around with head position and playing around with varying degrees of wrist extension. And then this is kind of taking me more towards my typical median nerve tension test, which is gonna be shoulder external rotation, wrist extended and supination head away. So this is going to be a maximal stretch on my median nerve. So playing with head position, wrist extension, and then varying the degree of arm elevation to try and stay, once I provoke symptoms, just shy of it by decreasing tension on any one of those three points.